All right, guys, so we have a pretty small car panel here to work with today. This is one of the smaller GAL Jet Plus panels I've seen. So this came out of an ESCO elevator, and if we just take a look at it, you can see here we've got the alarm button, which is pretty much pink at this point. Over here we have what appears to be a stop run key that sticks out too far, but uh, the key that should work this does not, so this obviously isn't a stop run. I don't even know what key that takes. But we've got our fan light key here, which does take the, uh, the standard key. We've got our door open, and then obviously our for floor buttons. And then on the top here, we have our capacity. So let's go ahead and take a look at the back here and see how this all works. So what we'll do is we'll pull off each type of button. We'll pull off a key switch and we'll pull off a button and we'll see how they work. So once you've removed the two screws, you can simply pull out the key switch. We've got the two screws on the back here. And this is, uh, this is what it looks like. If we take a look at it, it actually works the same way as a button except there's just a cover over the top. So to see how this works, we're gonna have to get inside the key switch. And the way we can do that is if we just jiggle the sides like this, you'll see that it slowly pulls apart and it falls into 100 pieces. And that's always a lot of fun to put back together. Here's the key switch itself. So this is the little piece that presses. Like I said before, don't have the actual key. This little metal piece would turn and press against this, which would actually push it like a call button. So loosening the two screws, and pulling them out. You can see how nasty they are. You can see here is the light key switch bit here. And this is quite interesting how this works. I'm not actually gonna pull this apart. These things are annoying to put back together. Okay, so the way this works here is you've got three contacts on it. You have this one right here. You've got this one here, which are actually on the same piece. And then you've got this third one right here. It's kind of confusing to look at. This is one of the more interesting key switches I've ever seen. So when it's on off, you see here there's this metal plate here which is not touching this one and this is simply just touching nothing right now you can see down there it's not really there's no metal or anything for it to touch so it's just sitting there so when you turn the light on you can see here this makes contact here on this bit right here and then connects it to the bottom here on this side when you turn it again you can see now it's still touching the metal here, but it's also touching this piece here, which would turn on the fan. Now, if we also look here, you'll notice there's these little pieces right here, which sit down on the plate. And that's what this stop switch is lacking. And that's why it's stuck out a little bit. So I'll be adding my own little washers in here to make this same spacer. So then when we put the key switch back in, it'll be flush with the panel. Now, if we just simply pull out the alarm button, we can also see the same thing on how it works. So we've got our button here on the front, and then on the bottom, you can see it's pretty simple. All it does is just press down on that little plastic piece, which makes the contacts complete here and make it work. Very simple. These are also very annoying to put back together if you take them apart. So if you take them apart, have fun putting those metal pieces back in there. So as I said before, I wanted to add some little spacers here on the stop switch to make it flush. So I've got this piece here, got three of these little washers, which makes about the same size as that. Once I add that stop switch back in, you can see now it lays flat with the panel. Definitely looks a lot better. So next thing we need to do is actually wire the buttons. So let's go ahead and get started with that. So there we go, we have successfully wired this GAL car panel, and it looks really awesome. So anyway, thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you guys next time.